welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do the olive oil eyeshadow palettes tag thing that's been going around YouTube. I think it's been created by Samantha March and somebody else, but I've seen it on um, Andrea Matiliano's channel. And this is going to be a collaboration with my friend Jacqueline. If nobody's familiar with who Jacqueline is, it's Jacqueline Galant here on YouTube. I'll leave a link down below for her channel as well as Samantha March and I can't remember the other person that created this tag and I'll leave Andrea's channel down below as well so if you guys want to check them out but definitely go check Jacqueline out and tell her I sent you this is a collaboration with Jacqueline um, we decided to do this together Jacqueline and I have been friends we met on YouTube but we've been friends for a very long time we actually met in person as well um, she's just a really great person um, check out her channel she does daily vlogs she does weight loss type videos she does some beauty related videos so definitely check out her channel so as I said for today's video we're going to do a collaboration on on the I guess it's called the eyeshadow palette tag but I think it's I think they're actually calling it the all about my eyeshadow so we're gonna get started I have my answers written down in this book so I'm just gonna get go through just in case I forget anything but I have my palettes all laid out across the ground here so the first one is the newest palette the newest palette that I got is this one from Revolution and this is the unconditional love palette this is what the colors look like I never actually dove into this one yet. I'm still testing some other ones, so I can't speak to how that palette is. Now, the next one is the oldest palette. This keeps falling apart on me, and I don't actually use this anymore, but I use it more for decoration. But it's the Too Faced La Belle Carousel palette. So I'm not going to open this up because it's hard to get it. It falls all over the place, but it came with like a Better Than Sex mascara. Two of these little things are blush and bronzer, and three of them are eyeshadow. I don't use it anymore, like I said, um, but I like to keep it as decoration because it's really cute. I'm just going to lay that over there. The next question is your most expensive palette. Okay, my the most expensive palette that I've bought for myself is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. This is 88 Canadian. And I can't get it open. But yeah, this is definitely my most expensive palette, and she's a beaut. Um, it's like 28 degrees here, and it's humid, so I have no makeup on because it would melt right off me. But I did want to record these videos, so I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time why I don't have makeup on. But I think this works out well out here, just as long as no bugs fall on me from the tree that I'm sitting under. Okay, your most affordable the most affordable has got to be these elf bite size minis and this is in rose water and i wear this one all the time i'm just if you see me looking over there i'm trying to see what star is doing this one's just a perfect everyday palette for me i love it okay so the next question is everyday palette i went back and forth on these ideas for a while but i think an everyday pop palette would be the Violet Voss Pro Eye Shadows palette. And I nearly threw this out. <laughs> but my friend's my friend Ainsley said it was her favorite palette, so I decided to try it a little bit more again. So I mean it I've been using that elf one for every day, but this one it pretty much has like your pink a little bit of pink tones, your berry tones, and then all your neutral tones, and then you could even go a little orangey with it if you wanted to. So it's, you know, you could use this on an everyday basis. And this is good for traveling with. I mean, it's not, it's big this way, but it's not like big this way. This is the Holy Grail pot palette, by the way, if I didn't already say that. Okay, this one is, okay, the most colorful palette. Now, I do have color pop palettes, but they have like, one's the mint one, so it's all mint color. The other one I made, and it was a blue one. Those are pretty colorful palettes. The Huda Beauty one's a pretty, pretty colorful palette. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me and I have some other ones but I'm gonna go with the TARDIS Pro Remix and the only reason why I'm going with this one is because geez I can't get any of them open today oh my gosh fail star come over here please okay there the only reason why I'm going with this one is because you have your blues you have your greens you have your little bit of orange you have purple you have like a golden yellow so I just find this is probably the, the, the palette with the most different colors in it that I have. And I really got to play with this more. Apparently we're getting the other one, the older one, like the TARDIS Pro in Boxy Lux in June. So I'll have both of them. All right. The next. Ooh, that was a bug. Yuck. 
Okay, the next one is the smallest. Now, for the smallest, I was going to go with the Elf Bite Size Minis. But then I decided to go with the Natasha Denona Mini Lila pa or Lila Palette. And the only reason why I did is because look at the um, shadow sizes. The Natasha Denona shadow sizes are smaller. So that is my smallest palette. And then for my biggest palette... Okay, it may not be big as in how many eyeshadows are in it, but I think it's big as in bulky. It's the storybook one. So you have like this big thing that looks like a book, and then your shadows are like just only these little bit in here. So I may, may be cheating by doing it this way, but it's my bulkiest palette. I have palettes that are longer. Like this one, the Holy, I didn't want to use the same answer. The Holy Grail is longer, see, like it's taller. But this one's definitely way thicker, so that's why I went with this one. The palette with the best memory is going to be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. And the reason why I'm picking this is because it was the summer that Mike and I went away on our first trip together. We went to PEI, then we came back, and then we went to... Okay, Mike's going to show you something. Mike got something in his hands for me over there. I'll just, uh, we're going to cut for this. But yeah, the reason why I got this is because we went to PEI. Then we went to Dartmouth together. We Like within three days of the PEI trip. And I got this palette then. And I love this palette. Alright, we're going to take a short intermission. Look what Mike has. I got lobster. Ah! They're alive. They're live lobster. We got to see what the story, guys. I got really distracted there because of the lobster. I love lobster. So Mike's going to put them in the pot now. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. The Norvina Palace. Like I said, we went on a trip to PEI together. And then we went to Dartmouth like three days later. And it's the first time we went on a trip together. So it was a good memory. And I got this at the McMack Mall in Dartmouth. So... I love this palette. You know what? I'm going to have to bring this out because this is a good summer palette. Pretty. All right. Next one is Worth the Hype. I'm going to go with Anastasia Beverly Hills again. The Modern Renaissance palette is definitely worth the hype. And this is another one that I got to pull out more because I haven't really used it as much as I should. But this is a beautiful palette for the fall, I think. Well, you know what? You can use it in the summer, too it's just it's pretty I love it it's very um pink and romantic like there is some orange in there too and some natural colors but I think this was definitely worth the hype it was I'm glad I purchased that the next one is not worth the hype and please don't hate me for this because I don't think that the palette's bad I just have a little bit of grief with it it is the graveyard girl swamp queen I love this palette don't get me wrong but the reason, I just don't think it was worth the hype. Like, it's not, like, extremely special. There's nothing extremely special about it. And I just find it kicks up a lot of uh, glitter everywhere. But it is a beautiful palette. Don't get me wrong. I love these um, mauve tones down here, especially. But I just, you, like I said, don't kill the messenger. I just don't think this one was worth the hype that it got. Okay. And you guys probably think some of the palettes that I mentioned weren't worth the hype. All right, the next palette, the, the, the next is favorite from favorite brand. Okay, so my favorite brand actually is starting to become Anastasia Beverly Hills. But my favorite brand for a very long time, and it's still very dear and close to my heart, is Too Faced. And my favorite palette from Too Faced is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy. And I think a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with me on this one because a lot of people like the spicy palette better but I like the extra spicy so that is my favorite palette from my favorite brand and then last but not least is your most used this is going to become as a surprise to people because a lot of people don't like this palette either but this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea volume 3 it's like this I got it in a boxy charm but the reason why it's the most used is because I will take these shimmery shades and just put them all over my lid and just wear it just that nothing else and this color actually does go decent in the crease it's not very you can't see it that well like the only matte color in the palette but it's enough to kind of just blend out the other shades oh go away fly but yeah I, this is my most used it doesn't even look like it's my most used i think actually 
if I really had to say right now, my mo most used is rose water from e.l.f., but this all in all has been my most used. So anyway, that is the All About Eyeshadow tag. Don't forget to go over and check out Jacqueline's channel. I'll leave her link down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye, everyone.